Hey, so recycling's pretty good now, right? Like, closed loop? Yeah, uh, about that. It's technically true, but like emotionally misleading. What? So PET, which is like the plastic that's in that bottle, it breaks down a little bit every time that it's recycled. So to keep it strong and safe for food, they gotta mix in what they call like virgin plastic, which is not what a regular person would expect. So how much of this bottle is actually new? Well, that depends. So globally, less than 30% of PET bottles get turned back into new bottles. The rest of it gets downcycled into like carpet, fleece, yoga mats, plastic strapping, and you don't exactly unknit a yoga mat back into a plastic bottle. So it's not a closed loop. No, it's a yoga mat loop. <laughs> anyway, well, the recycling rate for all plastic is about 9% worldwide. So if you think that bottle's coming back, there's a better chance of you finding your missing sock. <laughs> Okay, so to be fair, the EU's making companies have 25% recycled content in their PET bottles by 2025. Oh, wait, 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 I'm missing something here. 25%? Yeah, well that means like 75% needs to be virgin plastic. I know what 25% means, like, but how was it not 100%? Glad you're not bottling it up. You need to stop. Sorry. Because even if you claim the bottle is made into new stuff, it doesn't mean the cap, the label, the adhesive is all recycled either. I just don't think there's enough oversight on what companies are doing. So what now? You can choose glass or aluminium where you can. Uh, okay, anyway, they're actually circular if you've got decent recycling. And as for your favorite drink, they'll stop using 100% recycled messaging in the EU thanks to this legal challenge and start saying other things. Not because it's false, it's just misleading, which is in a way kind of false. So what should I do with this bottle now? Well, recycle it. Just downcycle your expectations.